Well, the last video went down way better than I could have ever dreamed of, so thank you. If you missed it, don't worry about it. I'll put a link at the end of this video and in the description. I would highly recommend watching it. But anyway, welcome to Callum Goes and Talks to a Mate in the Real World. I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, enjoy. So do you feel better prepared for lockdown? It's mentally taxing, bro. Especially when you're not happy or not happy with yourself. That's why it's good to talk to people. It sometimes takes someone else to kind of say something to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Oh, 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 no. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Your two favorite fishermen have arrived. What's up everyone, hello, welcome. I'm here today with Ethan, we're gonna do some fly fishing. But not only are we fishing, we're gonna catch a fish, gut it, and then eat it. Have you fished before? Never. Oh. Safety first. Glasses. Hat. Get your rod out. You don't want me to get my rod out in the middle of this, mate. Roll, roll. What, you just, you just yeeting us out like that, Ben? Where do you want this to go? Stick it in, the, in no, no, in, no, in, in this. And then, you, yeah. and then you do it like both arms. Bro, I don't want to do it. Oh, <laughs> do you want me to do it? No. I'll do it, I'll do it. I don't think I remember. <laughs> <laughs> you, you row me then. <laughs> you row. You row yeah, me. Yeah, I row. I row. All right. What's the techers here? A little bit like that, innit? And we're meant to be going that way because the top of the boat is that. No, way. no. Ah. But the top of the boat is your way. No, but Callum, this is the back. <laughs> no, no, okay. so you meant to go. No, that I need way. to see where I'm going, bro. Mate, this is hard. Wait. So now I want to go like. There. There we. Oi! Talk to me. Yeah. Now let's off right down there. All right. Go on. What? Oh. Yeah, you cast it here. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we've just disturbed the entire lake. Should we do a bit of fishing? Should we just, no, should we we just send it? No, we can't. No, we can't. We why, can't. Why? These are just for props on this lake. They said we can't fish until we taught us how to cast and stuff properly. Look, listen. My Don walks back here, and we have the most incredible trout. Huh? F off. I told you, you can't fish it. After finding out that we weren't supposed to fish, we came back to shore and were given a fishing lesson from our guide, Peter. The right place is 10 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Oh, mate, you're class at that. If you put too much energy into it, it upsets you the balance because a lot of people break their wrists. Find a clear patch where you're not going to slip in. Too much energy. Slow it down. That's all right. I mean, it's fine enough to catch fish. Okay. Well, and then and then give it a little. Come on. I know you want it. Even though me and Ethan didn't feel very prepared after our lesson, we went out onto the lake to catch some fish. See, who'd have thought it? Today, get out of the house, learn how to fish. This is this is more my type of fishing, though. It's just a sit sit and wait kind of thing. I like Mate, that. I haven't seen a single fish in here. I've just realised, fella. What? I've got life jackets on. <laughs> Are we in the right bit? Are there actually fish in this part? Did he say that? Because I can see stuff moving over there. Look. But you should, look this is wait. the overstocked bit. This is bit it? is overstocked? Yeah. I haven't seen a fucking single fish. Wait, there's not one, not one wake. Look harder. Mate, if we come here to record this whole video. Not one fish. And then not one fish. What is it now then? 10 to 4. Right. You've never casted like that since we got here. <laughs> Ten to four. <laughs> that was the most. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. How are things? Uh, yeah, not too shabby, mate. Getting, getting by. How about yourself, Fla? Yeah, it's going all right. It's going all right. So, do you feel better prepared for lockdown? Oh, two? I saw you talk about this the other yeah. day. You said that this time round, you actually are, you're doing prepared for it. Yeah. yeah, you're doing good. I wasn't. Not why, why not? Because I just finished the marathon, right? And I was like, oh, right, I'm going to go on to do this now. I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to go back to training how I like training, which is picking heavy things up yeah. and putting things back down. Bear in mind, I haven't weight trained for nine months, like dedicating. Uh -huh. So I was like so excited and eager to get back in the gym and do all these things, try and hit some new numbers. And I couldn't. And then I got stuck on my balcony with 12 kilograms. <laughs> Was that yeah. it? 12? Yeah, I've got 12 kilogram dumbbells, so I have to sit there and Mate, go. even Calyx has got 24s. I have to, but no, so I sit there and I do this. 
Or I'm just, so doing just getting toned. Yes, yeah, so I'm just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. So it's a nightmare. See, the thing is, I want to do this more often, but I'm just not getting up at half five. <laughs> but with that being said, are you tired now? No. Like, it's all right now, isn't it? It's just yeah. that part initial, of the morning. The initial stink. After two hours of no fish wanting to bite on our rods, Ethan finally got one. Got one? No way! Got fish! No! Oh, no. no! But then, as per usual, Wait, his technique oh, went out the window oh, and he God, bottled it. Ah! Tell you now, I'm casting this fish now. Oh, I'm fuming. Mate, it's same. Oh, not like this. What have you done? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the f***ing tree completely. Whose idea was this? So coming back to your documentary, what was it, were you scared to like talk about certain things that obviously yeah. have never been spoken yeah. about online before? Yeah. It's a really cool piece and, I, and my main thing is to try and help other people, right? I've made peace with everything, I don't have anything, I don't have any anger or anything in my body. I just, I'm just a low maintenance guy now because I'm just floating through life, very blessed. Now everyone knows everything about you. It's like, like absolutely everything. Yeah. Just naked, everyone knows everything. Yeah. So how did that feel in the process? Were you scared to do that? Were you scared of what the audience would think? Or did you know that they would be accepting of it? So say like everyone you see now, they potentially know yeah. everything that's happened to you from day dot to now, which is weird. Because usually in YouTube anyway, people feel like they're your friends. I was going to say like people know us slash you yeah. very well anyway. One thing that hit me was, it hit me after it was, now people can go back and watch whatever it is from that time period and realise what, like, that's the thing. And that's why YouTube is such a good time capture. Do you think that helps people? Uh, it shows people that you can't judge a book by what's like on the cover. Uh, <laughs> not at all, not at all. Little do you know that as soon as that 15 minutes is up, it's just a glum pit of just... That's what I was going to say, as soon as you click, like, stop recording on your camera, click the back of it. Yeah. Then the face just goes... Yeah. It's mentally taxing, bro. It's so mentally taxing, especially when you're not happy or not happy with yourself. That's one of the one things. I think once you become happy with yourself and who you are and what you want to do, you can easily get by. Whereas when you're not and you're sat there doing things that you don't necessarily want to do, but it's so taxing to try and be happy or force being happy. Humans thrive on social interaction, like this. Yeah. But now, you can do it. Like, I could live stream from here and be speaking to 12,000 people. But do so, you find that the same as no, speaking here? No, this is here. what I'm saying, because your body, and you, you sitting there on your stream, talking to these people, thanking these people, whatever. Your brain, your body is thinking, I'm communicating with people. Yeah. When realistically, you're not you're getting not. the human interaction. That's a really good point, you know? Yeah, so it's, it's a completely different thing. So you, even when you jump off stream, you feel exhausted, because you feel, imagine you went, went out today, and you spoke to every person you walked past. <laughs> yeah. You'd get home and think. That's such a good comparison. You would. Yeah. You'd be knackered. I came into this mad cocky, you know? We can't go home troutless. Surely not. Two strapping lads like us. Strapping lads going home with zero trout. He's got another one. What the f***? How'd you do that, lad? How are you doing that? No comment, all right? Keep your secrets to yourself. Bro, people have come in here, got one fucked up. Ethan, we actually need to catch something for the video, I'm not gonna lie. I know, <laughs> but until then, Take in the wildlife, mate. Couple of ducks. Bit, of, bit of fresh air out of London's good, actually. Yeah. Doing something mindless like this and like away from, like it's too easy to kind of get distracted while you're at home. When you do stuff like that, time flies. You don't realise? It does, yeah. Like we've been out here since what? Half six or whatever. Six o'clock, yeah. I guess what I mean is like when you're at home and you feel a certain type of way, it's like very easy to find something to do on the internet. Whereas like getting out here, lack of distraction, you can be easier. Yeah, you clear your mind. Have you ever been to therapy? Yeah, it's not yeah. for me. It's so weird for me to say, right? Because they do, they work for a lot of people. It's really good for some people. But for me, humans are humans, right? They're always going to have their own perception of what you're telling them. I guess from my point of view, because I've been going for like two years, so. 
It's more about having that person that's there that's just dropping bits of like, dropping little questions here and there yeah. to make you realise and think yeah. about the problems or the, <laughs> the trauma that you may have been through as, as a child. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I get you. It's, I don't think it's, it's their to responsibility it. to yeah. kind of like, suck it all in and then digest it in the same way as you. But what I will say is that I've heard many a story, and I think I got really lucky because I only ever had one therapist. Mm -hmm. But there's been many people that have cycled through them until they finally found the right yeah. person. I think when you, de when you delve into your mental health, you have to humble yourself. So, um, but I see the benefits to it. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, talk to me. Talk to me! Talk to me! Oh, he's a strong little fucker, but he's got nothing on the old Lux! Come on! All the way! Nah, 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 see ya! Come on! Come on! You, the honour's all yours, bro. <laughs> you get to bonk a fish. Oh, I don't know if I can you're do this, you You're gonna bonk a fish? Oh, Not Jesus Christ. Yeah, like a, like a firm bonk. Fucking hell. Yeah. So, Round here, and then just what, clart him on the head? So his head's up like that, yeah, and then there. What, how hard are we talking, that? Or, or like that? Oh, fucking hell, lads. That'll do. Yeah, he's bonk. Oh, he's done? He's yeah. Done. He's out. See? KO! <laughs> First round! Something that KSI's never done! You don't even have to donk him that hard. Nah. Bro, it's a fish. That's mad. You did it. And now for another one. I want one now. I can't believe you said, ha ha, get now. <laughs> and, then, and then you've literally, you've done it, smashed it. I said in my first video, it sometimes takes someone else to like, stand on the other mountain to kind of tell you where to go, what the route is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, gotcha. it can be sometimes such an easy answer to just like, turn left and go up there, mate. Yeah. There's steps, you don't even have to climb. It sometimes takes someone else to kind of say something to you. And that's, I guess that's why it's good to, talk to people, friends, family, yep. whoever, about the stuff that's happening in your life, because the answer, not the answer, just might be able to get some help that's like really simple. Just like yeah. one thing someone said, some one piece of wisdom. Yeah. I, I feel you. I'm, I'm sort of like, I'm just open with everyone now. I'll just say, straight up say. Same here. Like the, now that every, everyone knows everything about me, so now I can be truthfully honest with anyone, realistically. So if I'm not feeling up to things, I'll let people know I'm not feeling up to things. Otherwise, you'll overwhelm yourself and then feel like even worse. You know what? I do that so much. I'm too nice. I like you. I would say I'm too nice because I care about everyone else's feelings before my own. Same here. And uh, taking on the responsibility of other people. Yeah. And even the audience. Yeah. Yep. Like the responsibility of, I, yeah, I can't miss this video because yep. they, they'll, they'll be unhappy. Like, that used to get to me so much. I'm the most inconsistent YouTuber in the UK. Is it an official title? I don't know. Can we ask Guinness? Yeah, yank, yank, yank. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes! 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 yes. yes. Come on! Yes. Get, get, it, get, it, get, it, get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh, he's fuming. Get in there. I'm taking the gun. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh! Yes! Oh, he's nice. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a big fella. Oh, he's got another one. Oh. Bring him in. Bring, him, bring the little fella in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Yeah. Bring him in. Come on. We did it, lads. After three hours, me and Ethan finally caught some fish. The only downside was we now had to gut them. I've decided to blur some of this stuff, mainly because it was just a little bit grim. Oh, my God. Yeah, do you know what? I'm actually having second thoughts. <laughs> You can do it. You're actually doing it. Yeah, put it on the ground. Then oh, sweet Jesus. Are you going to get mixy on it now? Right, do you want the head on or off? <laughs> the easiest way is head off. Can't I just go like that, yeah? yeah <laughs> All right, what am I doing? Just cutting through it? Cutting through it. But hold the other side. Hold, the, hold, hold here, yeah. Hold him yeah. firm. Just press down. Hold him firm and... There you go. Well done. Nice work, mate. I need a moment. Sweet, thanks, we've got the shot, let's cook it. <laughs> Hello, geezers and geezettes. It's salt bay time. Get in there. Look, season him. I like salt. I think, I think you've done a little bit too much, lad. <laughs> 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 
Lux, yeah. I'm doing it. Mine's going in the middle. My fella's on. Bro, don't do it. <laughs> Bro! This guy has lost his rag. What's this for? Seasoning? No. To f***ing poke, poke the coals. Mine's probably going to taste like shit because you've battered it. Do you know what I haven't done all day? What? Check my phone. Number one, because we've been busy, but number two, because I've been fingering fish <laughs> all day. <laughs> but do, you know what's, do you know what's probably mad? I go on my phone now, I guarantee there's like 30 notifications. Yep. Absolutely, mate. Look at this. What's the, what, what's the worst one for him? Our group chat's the worst one for yeah. him. There is not a time in the day. All right, on the barbie today, we've got my fish. Yeah. And then two of Ethan's. Bro, I'm telling you now, look at the way his skin's come off of my one. Look, that's due to the silk, bro. Got is your one the, the middle one? Yeah. All that's right. your one that you just battered. <laughs> bro, that look. You just peeled it off and the skin <laughs> was looks... stuck to the grid off. <laughs> I just want to eat it, though. I'm intrigued. Because I don't think I'm going to like it. You don't think you're going to like it? No. I think you're going to love it. All right, the first one's ready, done, cooked up, steady. What about my fella? Is it, is it no? You want him? No, but is he done? Oh, he's fucked. Oh, he's, oh, he's dripping, dripping a piss. <laughs> I reckon it's all right. It does actually look good. It looks filthy. But... Come on, slap her in. So it should just fall off the bone, right? It's not bad. I'm going to get my mallet off. Oh, bone apple teeth. Bone apple teeth, mate. I'm eating fish in a field with my pal. Well, probably could have done with more salt yours, right? I reckon yours probably could have done with more salt. No joke. It tastes like pond water. <laughs> Guys, honestly, thank you so much for watching until the end. Your reaction and comments to my previous video was truly overwhelming, so thank you. I also want to say a huge thanks to Movember for sponsoring all of this content. They're on a mission with me to encourage young men to be more open about how they're feeling, to reach out when things are tough, and to support them with their mental health. Check out the links in the description if you need help or want to find out how you can make a change. And remember, if you are watching this at home right now and you feel like you need some support, for real, just reach out to someone. Even a simple conversation can really help. It certainly helped me.